All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Bootstrap locally on your computer. All right, so that means even if you don't have access to the internet or you're offline, you will still be able to work with Bootstrap. All the classes will still work. All right, so let me just go ahead and create a project. I'm clicking on file here. I'm using VS Code as my code editor. So I'm going to click on open folder to start creating project and I'm going to name this uh, demo. All right, so let's go ahead and select that folder uh, so we can create our first file, which is the index.html file to demonstrate how this works. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, uh, put our starting HTML code right here and let's just name this demo or uh, bootstrap installation demo all right so here in bootstrap yeah this is the website for bootstrap you know the easiest way to get started is just go ahead and copy this link uh this css file uh right over here which is the cdn or content delivery uh, network i'm just going to word wrap my window here so we can see all the codes right here on my screen and uh, as, of course aside from the css file you need the JavaScript, okay, for this to work. So once you have that, uh, you can start uh, taking advantage of the available Bootstrap classes. For example, the nav bar right here. You can go ahead and copy the code and paste it right over here. So save that and let's go ahead and preview our project. So I right click on it using the uh, live server uh, extension right here. Okay, you can install it if you want by uh, heading over to extensions. So mine is already installed. So anyway, going back to our topic right here. So now we have put in the bootstrap navbar. We copied it from the website right over here. And this is our project. Now we have the navbar working. Okay, so if we uh, uh, minimize that to see the mobile version of the site, as you can see, it is working right here. Okay, so that's the easiest way to work with Bootstrap. But if you don't have access to the internet, let me just go ahead and uh, demonstrate that. I'm going to disable my internet connectivity on this computer. Okay, I'm going to right click here and disable. All right. And if we are going to, right now it's disabled, as you can see, that's my uh, ethernet. And if we are going to uh, refresh our project, as you can see, this is pure uh, default HTML markup, okay? The bootstrap styling is not being applied anymore unless I'm going to enable it again, uh, my connectivity to the internet. If we are going to refresh our project right here or uh, control shift R to make sure that it will load, now we have the bootstrap classes back on, okay? Or the styling. So anyway, so that's the easiest way, which is online. And now I'm going to show you the different uh, offline installation of Bootstrap. So let me just go ahead and delete this. And this one right here as well. Okay, so save that. So we're still going to use this uh, nav uh, classes. And this is our project right now. It's being previewed. Okay, so we have this code from Bootstrap, but uh, the styling is going to be the default HTML markup. No styling at all, okay? Okay, so the first one that I'm going to show you is by using the npm install, okay? So uh, if you will head over to the Bootstrap website, just click on this uh, homepage, you will see here an installation information that says uh, you can use these commands, okay? npm install Bootstrap, okay? But to take advantage of this method, you're going to have to install git, all right, from this website and uh, also you have to install node.js in my opinion although this seems to be easy maybe this is not so friendly to beginners so if you don't have an idea yet about node.js and git i highly recommend to forward this video to the next one because i'm going to show you something easier all right something that is more beginner friendly in my opinion okay so anyway let's go ahead and do this again this one will uh, require you to install git which is this one right here. I'm going to put this link in our in the description as well as node.js. Okay, so let me go back to VS Code. Since I have node.js and git installed, I can just go ahead and click on view and then I'm going to uh, open the terminal window right here, as you can see. And from here, 
I can go ahead and click this uh, drop down button and I will select command prompt. Okay. And from here, I'm going to type uh, like the one on the website npm install bootstrap. Okay. So right here, npm install bootstrap. Okay, and now, now what uh, is going to happen is it will download all the files from Bootstrap. And as you can see right here, aside from index.html, we already have this two additional files and an additional folder. Uh, inside that folder are all the things that we need to work with Bootstrap. Okay, so the things that we need basically is if we are going to start expanding from this folder, node underscore modules, click on this. Uh, what we need is in this bootstrap folder and the dist or dist or the distribution folder right here under that we have css okay let me just expand this window and we also have js for the javascript what we need is this bootstrap dot bundle dot js basically and this bootstrap dot css so all we have to do is go back to our index.html file for now let me just close this terminal window and i'm going to uh, add here a code for the link attribute or the link tag i'm going to uh, locate this bootstrap.css so it is under node modules as you can see right here vs code is detecting the next directory or folder we go to bootstrap and then D dist or dist what we need first is the css and then bootstrap that css which is right over here okay so save that now the one that we need is the uh, javascript let me just uh, collapse the css folder what we need is the bootstrap.bundle.js so here we're going to use the script tag and this src attribute or the source go to no node modules and then bootstrap dist and then js and then bootstrap that bundle that uh, js okay so save that and let's head over to our project which is right here and as you can see we already have the uh, styling activated and even if we disable our internet connection if we will refresh our page okay control shift r you can actually take advantage of this uh, key combinations to refresh the page just in case this one will not work, okay? So this uh, button right here still works. If we are going to go to responsive or uh, mode, if we are going to minimize the window, this button right here is working, okay? In fact, we can add more bootstrap classes. Let me just go ahead and collapse the nav. Here at the bottom, I'm going to add a bootstrap class called container, okay? And here we are going to add a table. Okay, let me just put this at the side so you can see what's happening on our project. Okay, remember right now we are offline, okay? Like that, my ethernet uh, connection is uh, uh, disabled. All right, so here I'm going to uh, minimize this so you can see my code better. Okay, so for table, uh, I'm going to add here a T head tag for the table head and then T body, right? So in the T head, we need a row which is TR and in the table head here, I'll just type here a sharp or a hashtag and then the next one is going to be name. Uh, we are basically just trying to create a table. The next one is to be is going to be email and the last one is going to be action, okay? So hold on just a minute, you will see what I am trying to make here. Row under the T body tag, this is going to be TD or table data. Let's just assume this is number one. And the next one is going to be John Doe. All right, the name. And the table data is going to be G, J Doe at example.com. And the action right here is table data. I'm going to put an anchor tag. This one's going to be view, all right? And I'm going to add a bootstrap class of BTN. BTN is small, and then BTN info uh, to make sure that the button is blue, all right? And I'm going to copy this uh, two more time. And this one is going to be edit. This one is delete, 
All right, and this one is uh, going to be warning, which is a yellow button. And the last one is going to be BTN danger, which is a red button. Okay, maybe we'll just uh, rename this to Dell instead of delete. Okay, so to make this uh, look more like a table, there's a bootstrap class called table. Okay, as you can see, we have now a header with a line, with a separating line. We can actually style the T head to be uh, table dark, which is also a bootstrap class to uh, get this table header uh, styled as dark. Okay, and the font uh, uh, color is white. All right, so here we can actually add the table stripe. Uh, let me just go ahead and copy this first. Uh, two more time. Okay, as you can see, we have three rows. But if you are going to add table stripe, table stripe, save that. Now this one is grayed out. This one is uh, white. Uh, this one is gray. Not grayed out, gray in styling. If we can copy more row, if we are going to add more data, okay, this one again is white. So it's an alternative color. Uh, which will be easier for user to distinguish which information uh, they are look, looking for. All right. So, all right. So anyway, I'm just showing you that it works even if it is offline uh, because the bootstrap files are already installed locally on your computer inside your project. So this demo folder, if you are going to minimize everything, is right over here. This is the project that we are working on. The node modules is right here and it contains all the files and we actually have uh, used the bootstrap.css right here. Let me just show it to you again. This one right here and the bootstrap.bundle.js. So this is actually located in this folder, okay? Uh, DIST, CSS, this is the bootstrap.css right over here and the bootstrap bundle is right here in JS, bootstrap.bundle.js. Okay, let me show you the next one. All right, so let me just go ahead and create another folder, okay, or project. In the desktop, I'm going to name this demo2. Okay, select that folder. I am going to create a new file, which is the index.html file. Okay, for now, let me just go ahead and uh, enable my internet connectivity. So here, I'm going to go back to the Bootstrap website, okay? Okay, from the homepage, you can actually go ahead and click Get Started. And here, you will see that we have a link here, okay, inside the href attribute. What you can do is you can just go ahead and copy this, Control C on the keyboard, and open a new tab in your browser, okay? Paste that code right here, and remove the mean right here okay make sure you only have bootstrap.css and you will be able to access and as you can see we are able to access the organized bootstrap code because the bootstrap.min.css is the minified version of this code uh, let me just uh, show you that again min.css so it's the same code but this one contains no spaces in order to reduce the file size of the bootstrap.css okay so here, make sure to type in or bootstrap that CSS or, or just delete the mean word right there. Okay, now you can go ahead and control A to select everything and then copy and go back to VS Code or your text editor and create here a CSS folder. All right, right click here, click new file and type here a bootstrap that CSS. Okay, and paste the code that we just copied from the browser right over here okay so now we save that now what we need is to create another folder for the javascript file okay so go back again to the um, home page of the bootstrap i mean on the introduction page okay right over here when you scroll down a bit you will see a bundle okay so we have copied this link earlier now what we need is this one right here okay copy that right click on it copy and open it here in the new tab, okay? And remove the min or the min, 
so we can have the full version of the file which is this one copy everything okay copy that go back to vs code create a new file here uh, let's name this uh you can actually name this whatever you want scrape the js uh but i'll just uh, name it bootstrap that bundle that js okay and then paste the code in here now in our index.html we can actually go ahead and start working on our project this is demo 2 and uh, let me just type here an h1 demo 2 and let's go ahead and link the files right here okay so we need a link tag the location is under the css folder bootstrap.css and the javascript we need of course the script tag and the source attribute is going to be uh it's under js bootstrap.bundle.js uh this file right here okay so now let's go to bootstrap and uh, uh, copy some components for example a now bar okay let's copy this one right here and paste it in our code all right save your project right click here in index.html and open with live server to preview the project now we have it right here in fact the uh, uh, h1 that we have written is already displaying right over here okay you can add a bootstrap class uh, text uh, center to center that on the page like so okay so in our other project let me just open up another vs code because we are going to copy not folder but file open file desktop demo uh, we need this the index.html because i'm just going to copy the table all right uh, i'm going to copy the table uh including the container class okay this one right here copy that and go to our demo 2 project and paste that in here save that and let's preview our browser now we have demo 2 okay this is our uh, second project and using the this method so uh, we just copied the code directly from here okay in the browser uh, and and that uh, we get it from the uh, home page of the bootstrap site when we click get started you will see the link here okay inside the href attribute that's for the css style and for the javascript is here in the bundle uh, uh, category or option if you can say it that way so we uh, this is what you need okay bundle and we remove the min because we don't want the minified version but if you want the minified version that's fine it will certainly work is that that one of the advantages of having the original file it is organized and uh, uh, that means you will be able to uh, modify directly the file over here okay yeah inside the uh, source code all right yeah for example the color which is right here you can modify that all right so now as you can see let's go ahead and disable my internet and let's see if the project is still working demo 2 okay we are working on demo 2 because this is the first one okay this is the second one that's the reason i put in here an h1 demo 2 uh, title to distinguish uh, the project before and the second project uh, uh, for demonstration purposes so as you can see it's working this button right here works and if we are going to minimize this uh, uh responsive mode okay yeah uh, this button right here is still working all right, so the video is taking too long. Actually, there are more ways on how to install or integrate Bootstrap in your project. So uh, in this video, I just I have just uh, showed you two uh, ways, uh, two of the many ways on how to take advantage of the Bootstrap uh, framework. All right, so I hope that this has been informative for you. See you in the next one.